Welcome to the Craftsman Blog. I'm Scott Seidler, and uh, today we are going to talk about one of the topics I get asked about more than anything else, and that is how to glaze windows. To glaze windows, you're going to need just a few things. It's very simple. Number one, glazing putty. That seems pretty self-explanatory. Number two, a firm putty knife. I prefer a one to one and a half inch putty knife. And number three, whiting. This is basically just good old-fashioned chalk. Um, there are a couple other things you can use in a pinch, but this is the best for it. You'll also need a pair of nitrile gloves. That's optional if you like it. Some people need gloves, other people don't. For more on old windows and uh, glazing, you can always go to the website at thecraftsmanblog.com. So let's jump right in and get started. All right, first thing you want to do is set your window down on a good work table, a good surface you've got. You've got your putty, you got it balled up in your hands, make sure it's nice and warm and pliable. And what we're doing here is just rolling it out into a snake. This is just one method that you have. After you roll it out in a snake, you're going to take your putty knife and pack it back into the glazing rabbit. That way you make sure there's plenty of putty in there. And you slide your glazing knife across there. And it's going to smooth out the surface on there, pull off the excess. Karen does a really nice job in these videos of uh, getting such really nice clean corners and good amounts. It might take a couple passes with the putty knife. You're not going to be as fast as she is the first time. It may take you once and you're a master at it, but more than likely it's just going to take a few windows or even a few dozen. Once you get one side done, rotate the sash. We're going to take a different view here. See, she's doing the same thing, rolling it out into a snake, putting it into that glazing rabbit, and then we're going to come back through with the putty knife and pack it in there so it's nice and tight against the glass and against the uh, wood of the sash frame. She's cleaning some of her corners here too because uh, as you move along the corners are one of the more important items that you want to get just right. So once she feels it's clean enough she'll just start moving along and packing the putty in and get all the way across there and once everything's packed in there you've got enough putty you come through with your knife still cleaning those corners they're always got to be perfect and you slide it across the surface of, and that puts your putty at a nice 45 degree bevel. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly 45, but you need that bevel so that water can sheet off of there, uh, debris, anything like that. It, and it looks really nice with a nice clean angle. Also, what you're doing, what she's doing here in the corners is, take a look here, you want to see that you got a nice clean mitered corner. It is putty, but you can make it look like wood if you're doing a good enough job. She's cleaning this corner up and finishing it. And then once we're done with this, we're going to move on to cleaning the glass. Um, yeah, once you've got all four sides done, you're going to grab a little can of uh, whiting. It's just ground up chalk dust. It's available at some paint stores or you can get it online. In a pinch, you can use uh, drywall dust, the uh, like 10 or 45 minute uh, drywall dust that you uh, before it's mixed, obviously. And this just takes the oils off of the glass. It cleans everything nicely. It also starts the putty skinning off so that uh, it'll be ready for paint sooner. Um, one thing, you just you want to use a soft brush for this. You don't need anything really difficult, but uh, you do want to be careful. You want the whiting on all of the putty, but you want to make sure you're not disturbing those nice clean corners you did. But uh, it, it, you can come back with a putty knife and clean it if you need to afterward, but uh, it's just important to get all the excess oils off. Once you feel like you did a good job there, Karen always comes back with a knife and cleans up a couple of the corners, maybe where there's a problem. You want to tilt up the sash because there's still some extra uh, uh, whiting left on there. And then just brush the excess whiting off of the glass. You can see once it's on there. You also want to do this relatively quickly, right after you're done glazing. Use the whiting. Don't wait 30 minutes or an hour or the next day. While the oil is fresh on the glass, this will help you clean everything off the glass. You don't need Windex. You don't need something else to clean it. No chemicals. Just this whiting. Um, and you can reuse it. And once you're done, you've got a beautifully clean window. It's ready for paint, depending on the putty you use, in just a few days to a few weeks. If you want to get some glazing putty for yourself, you can stop by the blog at thecraftsmanblog.com slash putty. Made it super easy for you. Well, that's it for now. Till next time, happy glazing.